Father, in heaven, we thank you. The I am that is I am, we worship, we adore you. For yet another Sunday to be in your presence for a Thanksgiving service. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you counted us worthy to be among the living, to show gratitude even unto you today. Be the accepted Father in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Father, for all the blessings that we receive in the first quarter of this year. We thank you, Lord Father, in anticipation of what you are going to do in our lives in this second quarter of the year. King of glory, we say thank you. Be the accepted Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word say that we should come boldly unto the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy. Father, we pray that in today's service, you will release your mercy upon every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, touch every life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every life that shall be here today, Lord Father, shall be touched by you in a special way in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as possible that are needed to be delivered for one thing or the other. Father, you shall release your power of deliverance upon them today in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as possible that are here, Lord Father, with yoke or burden. Father, we pray, they shall not go back home without yoke or burden in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are a body lifter, you are a yoke breaker. Father, you will break every yoke today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every aspect of today's service, Lord Father, we envelope in the power of the Almighty God. We pray, Father, that as your people will be dancing, as your people will be rejoicing, I pray that things of joy will continually be in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. They will always have cause to glorify your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, because I pray, answering God. We give you glory forever. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap this morning. I don't think that's the clap for your God. Give Jesus a big hand clap this morning. Come on, put your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Our Elohim. Our victorious King. He's alive forevermore. 
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! I want you to go around the church this morning. Welcome somebody to church. Give them a warm handshake. Tell them you are blessed and lifted. Prophesy upon them. Prophesy. Prophesy. Say something to them. You are blessed and lifted, brother. God's favor is upon your life. God's glory is upon your life. You will experience God's goodness this week. Come on, say something more to them. Tell somebody how good they look. If nothing, say something about their clothing, about their dressing. Put a smile on somebody's face this morning. Make somebody smile. Brother Tammy, you are not smiling. Amen. Amen. You are not smiling. Is well. Amen. Glory to God. Now let's give Jesus a big hand clap again. Hallelujah. Somebody make some noise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's go. Glory to God. How many of you are ready to praise your God? Hallelujah. We need to thank God for his goodness. Let's go. Hallelujah. Let me hear those hands. Oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. I no go wait until you do me something. Oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everybody sing, oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. I no go wait until you do me something. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Oh, thank you. Everybody thank him, oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. Uh, I no go wait until you do me something. Oh, oh Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. I'm ready to sing your praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everybody says, oh, 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 you want to do back. Oh, oh, you want to do back. Help me thank him, oh, oh, you want to do back. Oh, you want to do back. I show you Jesus. Make we sing that for English, oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. I know the way until you do me something. Oh, Lord, I'm ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Thank you, Jesus. Help me sing and bold. Oh, 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 Listen, you are God, you are not just big, oh, you are not just large, oh, you are a great God, everybody sing, you are God, you are not just big, you are not just big, oh, you are not just large, you are not just large, oh. You are a great God. You are God. You are God. You are not God. You are not just big. You are not just large. Oh, you are a great. Now let's say, Oh, you are big. You are big, 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 large, 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 great, 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 great. You are a great God. You are big. You are big, 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 large, 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 great, 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 great. You are a great God. One more time. You are God. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. You are not just large. 
Jesus Lord oh, you are a great God you are God you, you are, are God, God. Oh, you, are oh, God. you are not just a Lord you are, Lord, oh, you are a great God you are big big you are big 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 Now listen, my God is big, oh, he's big, he's big, oh, bigger than all the problems I may face. My God is big, oh, big, he's big, oh, bigger than all the problems I face. He knows the end, oh, from the beginning, oh, I found Omega is his name. He knows the end, oh, from the beginning, oh. I find Omega is the Tell me how your God is big, oh He's bigger than this, oh He's bigger than this, oh Show me how your God is big, oh He's bigger than this, oh Come on He's bigger than this, Show me how your God is big, oh He's bigger than this, oh He's bigger than this, Show you how your God is big, oh He's bigger than this, oh He's stronger than this. Hey, he's stronger than this. Show me how your God is stronger. He's stronger than this. He's stronger than this. Awesome God. Awesome God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God, awesome God. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Awesome God, awesome God. Mighty God, mighty God. Awesome God, awesome God. Mighty God, mighty God. We give you praise. Jehovah, 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 I go to follow you, they go. 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 I'm chasing a 
after you. I'm chasing after you. I'm chasing after you. I'm chasing after you. I'm chasing after you. I'm looking up to 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 you. I'm going to follow you. They go. I'm going to follow you. They go. I'm going to follow you. They go. Carry me. They go. Jehovah, carry me. They go. They go. They go. Somebody dance before your God. Jehovah, carry me the God, the God, the God. Carry me the God, the God, the God. Carry me the God, the God, the God. Carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me the God. Jehovah, carry me the God, the God, the God. Carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me the God. Carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me. Carry me the door. I go to follow you, the door. Follow you, the door. I go to follow you, the door. I go to follow you, the door. Follow you, the door. I go to follow you, the door. I'm chasing after you. I'm chasing after you. I'm looking up to you. I'm looking up to you. Hey, I'm looking up to you. Lord, I'm looking up to you. I'm looking up to you. I'm going to follow you. They go. I follow you. They go. I follow you. They go. My Jesus, glorious, 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 He is. Hey, hey, my Jesus, glorious, 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 He is. Hey, my Jesus, glorious, 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 He is. Hey, my Jesus, glorious, 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 He is. Hey, my Jesus, glorious. Jesus, glorious, 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 He reigns. Joyous celebration, joyous celebration, joyous celebration. One more time, joyous celebration. We're here to pray. Oh, 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 oh. We're here to pray. Pray. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hallelujah. I serve a very big God. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. My God. Oh, oh, oh. My God. Oh, oh, oh. My God, the big oh, 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 my God, the big oh, 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 oh. When I look to my right, it's bad man. When I look to my back, it's bad man. When I look to my left, when I look to my right, oh, hallelujah, I serve a very big God. Oh, hallelujah, I serve a very big God. Oh, hallelujah, I serve a very big God. Oh, hallelujah, I Tarambuka, 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 come on, Tarambuka, Panda, 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 let's go down everybody, hey, hey, Tarambuka, 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 Panda, 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 hey, one more time, Tarambuka, 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 
Turambo Kataru, Panda, 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 Panda. Hey, Hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah! Where you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Oh, where you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Has somebody won today? Has God given you the victory? Hey, come on. Hey. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Oh, when you see me dance, I dance, I dance like a winner man. Oh, yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, dance like a. Oh yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I dance like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I jump like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I jump like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I jump like a winner man. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, I jump like a winner man. Oh. Hey. Oh yeah, I run like a winner man. Oh, run. oh yeah, I run like a winner man. Oh, hey. oh yeah, I run like a winner man. Oh, oh yeah, I run like a winner man. Oh, hey. oh yeah, I wave like a winner man. Oh, oh yeah, I wave like a winner man. Oh, oh yeah, I wave like a winner man. Oh, wave like a winner man. Oh. Lift up your hands to your God this morning. The Bible says, enter into his presence with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Right now we're in God's presence. The Bible says when Jesus died, the veil was turned into two. We had free access to meet God. The Bible says, he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. And God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So I want you to worship your God this morning in spirit. Just bless the name of the Lord. Tell him how good he is. The Bible says, let us offer unto him sacrifices of praise. Sacrifice of praise means that when you know it's bad, the enemy expects you to complain. But you choose to say, thank you, Jesus. Yes, when there's, you can't pay your bills, instead of you to complain, but you choose to sacrifice that complaint with praise to God. And say, Father, I thank you. I thank you because you supply all my needs. According to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. They are going to pour out your heaven upon us today. As we worship you. As we lift up our voice to you, oh God. Hallelujah. We give you praise today. Awesome wonder. You're the mighty ruler. You're the king of all the earth. We bow before your throne. Awesome wonder. You are the mighty ruler. You are the king of all the earth. We bow before your throne. Help me sing today. We bow down and worship. Somebody worship your God. He always. Hey, Oh, we we bow down and worship. And worship Yahweh. And we bow down and worship you, Lord. We bow, we bow, we bow, we bow down and worship. Yahweh. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer, oh God. We bow, we bow down and worship. 
and worship Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, hey, hey. Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. 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 Oh, Yahweh. say that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Come and just worship the Lord this morning. 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 Father Mila Kopaski Eko Tola Gabari Adadai Molotun Kapariske Tuska Lia Gaboska Tiadadai En Frutuske Grakuka Katale Gaboski E Antuke Puska Lianda Maledebos Kele de Bosia de Bos Rekete Kele de Bosia de Bosia In Jesus' name we have worship. We are still going to worship the Almighty God. The Bible says in the beginning, He created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the earth. 
And the Spirit of the Lord was moving, moving upon the face of the water and said, Lay there be land that was lie. I want you to begin to worship the Almighty God. The Bible says, In the beginning, He created the heaven and there by His mighty power, by His outstretched hand. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. Worship Him because He's your God, He's your creator, He's your maker, He's your redeemer, He's your savior. Worship this morning, referencing is the one who created all things before you were created. He was, and after you, will forever be. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the one that holds the key of David. He opened the door, no one can shut it. When he shut the door, no one can open it. Worship be? He's your savior. He's your redeemer. He's the only reason why you are alive. Worship be? Worship the Almighty God. If you do not worship Him, He said He will raise up a stone. If you don't worship Him, worship the Almighty God. Reference Him because He's our God. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. The Bible says, The earth is His and the fullness thereof. The one that did not do anything. Lord, we worship you. We reference you. We declare your Lordship. We declare your Majesty. We bless your name, our God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. People of God, let us not be ungrateful. I want you to see the reason why you must worship God this morning. Do not focus on the circumstances around you. God is not pleased with that. But focus on the living God. If there is anything, God has given you the breath of life so that you can worship Him. I want you to begin to cast your mind back. In the last few weeks, we remember the Boeing airplane that crash landed. Just last week, the Boeing uh, management, they came out even to say that the fault was a design default. Can you imagine? And they said those two pilots that were explaining similar things, they said they did all they could do, all they are, so, they are trained to do. They did everything, everything failed. And they own up. They said that fault was designed for. It was their own fault. You and I, we have entered the same plane. This year alone, I've entered plane so many times. So you and I, you have entered it. But the Lord has not made that to be your portion. Thank God for the gift of life. God has planned for your lives. That is what is important to you. Thank God for the gift of life. Forget what is happening around you. Just thank God. God who has spared your life. God who has kept you to this moment. God has planned for your life. Appreciate the almighty God. Even for the gift of life. If you do not have any other thing to thank God for, just thank God for the gift of life. Appreciate the almighty God. Express your gratitude unto God. Concerning your lives. Concerning every member of your family. Appreciate him. Do not take things for granted. I appreciate the almighty God even for keeping you alive. First quarter of this year has gone already. We have just started the second quarter of the year. The Lord has planned for your life. I appreciate him. Focus on the plan that he has for your life. The Bible says it's touched for you and not out of evil, but out of peace to give you a hope and a future. I appreciate the almighty God. Our God is good. Thank God for his goodness in, his, in your life. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, this morning, oh God, as a church, oh God, we have come unto you we with us of gratitude, we say thank you. We are grateful unto you for sparing our life, for keeping us. Not because we are better than those who go, Lord, who have gone. But Lord, we thank you because you have planned our purpose for our life. We return all the glory unto you. We are not the keeper of our lives. You are the keeper of our lives. We appreciate you. We bless your name, our God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Yeah. Quickly turn your Bible with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter, chapter 62. Isaiah chapter 62, I will read verse 8. The Bible said, The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the hand of his strength. Surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies. And the son of the foreigner shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are going to raise a crown to the Lord. We have just started the second quarter of the year. You are going to pray a simple prayer that you will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus, it takes God for you and I not to labor in vain. 
The system has been designed in such a way that people are laboring in vain. But I'll raise the crown to the law that in this second quarter of the year and beyond, you will not labor in vain. You and your household, you will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus, raise the crown to the law. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, Lord, I commit my life unto you. Every member of my household, I bring, oh God, Lord, even my brethren unto you, my brother, my sister, everyone, oh God, that has identified with grace sanctuary. Lord, we plead with you, O oh God, in this second oh God, but in the second quarter of the year, none of us shall labor in vain in the name of Jesus, Almighty Father. Lord, we shall not labor in vain, O oh God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, in every area of our lives, we will not labor in vain. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, all our labors, O oh God, Lord, ministry-wise, Lord, maritally, O oh God, career-wise, O oh God, Lord, financially in every way we not labor in vain in the name of Jesus over the lives of our children we will not labor in vain in the name of Jesus thank you, our father in Jesus name we are praying verse 12 Isaiah 62 verse 12 it says and they shall call them the holy people the redeem of the Lord and you shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Praise the Lord. You know, this is the promises of God concerning you, concerning me. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah 49, verse 15. He said, can a mother forsake, forget a sucking child without having a compassion on the son of her own? He said, surely they may forget. He said, but I will not forget you. He said, see, I've inscribed you on the palm of my hand. He said, my, your words are continually before me. And that's what God has said concerning you. You're going to raise a crown to the Lord this morning. That the Lord will make you to be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Before you pray that prayer, I want you to pray with understanding. Remember Joseph. Joseph Joseph was in the prison. He was called out of the prison. He was not forsaken there. So you are going to raise a cry unto the Lord this morning. I don't know the area you have been forsaken. I don't know the area you are trusting God to be, you know, to be sought out. You are going to raise a cry unto the Lord. Is it concerning your employment? Is it concerning your marriage? Is it concerning your finances? Is it concerning your ministry? Raise a crown to the Lord. That the Lord, according to the word of God, that you be called sought out. That a city not forsaken. They will seek for you in the name of Jesus, you will not be forsaken. Even as Joseph was sought after, you they will seek for you. You will not be forsaken in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every situation that has imprisoned your life today is a day of deliverance, it's a day of liberation. That Lord will set you free in the name of Jesus because the word of God says so that you are going to become a sorter, a city not forsaken. As a child, that Lord will call us a sorter, a city not forsaken. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, we pray, O oh God, even according to your word, concerning our life, that we shall be called, O oh God, a sorter, a city not forsaken. In the name of Jesus, in every area of our lives, Almighty Father, that we are looking up unto you, O oh God, even, O oh God, Lord, for divine visitation, visit our life. Let us not be forsaken. In the name of Jesus, those who are believing you for the fruit of the womb, Almighty Father, let them be called, O oh God, so tired, a city not be forsaken. Those who are trusting you for employment, let them be called so tired, a city not be forsaken. Those who are trusting you for promotion, let them be called, oh God, called so tired, a city not be forsaken. Those who are trusting you in for scholarship, let them be called, oh God, so tired, a city not be forsaken. In the name of Jesus, marriages, oh God, that experience the crisis, turbulences, oh God, let them be called so tired, a city not be forsaken. Forsaken in the name of Jesus, those who are oh God, trouble in their head, let them be called such a city not forsaken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Lastly, Isaiah 64, verse 1 say, Oh, that you will rain the heavens, that you will come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. You are going to raise the crown to the Lord again. That's you hear the word of God today. That the Lord will rain the heaven. The Lord will come down for your sake. The Lord will come down for your sake. 
This is what the word of God says. And the Lord will bring deliverance even to your life. In the name of Jesus, begin to talk to the Lord. I don't know where you are trusting God for deliverance for. The Lord says, He will rend the heaven. He will come down and He will accomplish deliverance for you. Raise a crown to the Lord. Is it concerning you? Is it concerning your family? Is it concerning your children? Is it concerning your whatever it is? Ask God even to rend the heaven today and come down for your say. That is what the word of God says. Almighty. God, we turn our faith together this morning as a church, oh God. You say you will rend the heaven. You say you will come down. Almighty Father, we plead with you, oh God. Let the heaven, oh God, be open upon our garden today as we hear your word. Come down, oh Lord. Visit our lives, oh God. Bring deliverance unto us in the name of Jesus. Touch our lives. Thank you, our Father. We appreciate you for in Jesus' name. We are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Are we happy to be in God's presence? Um, the book of First Corinthians 4, 7 says, What do you have that I've not given you? We've come to give God all the praise. We've come to say thank you, Lord, for his goodness, for his mercy. We've come to return all the glory. We've come to worship him with this song. We pray as to listen. You'll be blessed and join us to worship God in Jesus' name. Oh, 
Father in heaven, we thank you. I am that I will bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Be there as a dear Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Father, for your power. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you, Lord Father, because you never forsake us. We bless your holy name because you are a good God. We thank you, Lord Father, because you are a God that never fails. You have been the one that has been keeping us from the beginning of this year. You kept us through the first quarter of this year. And in your infinite message, you made it a possibility for us to enter into the second quarter of the year. Father in heaven, we say thank you. Be the accepted Father in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, as your children gathered, even in your presence today, you will touch every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will build them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will raise them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever that is not of you, that is in their life, you shall uproot today in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody that is weak in faith, anybody that is weak in strength, Father, today you will strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of today's service, Lord, Father, 
your children shall go back home rejoicing that you have done great and wonderful things in their life. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are a God that specializes in breaking yoke. Any manner of yoke that follow your children into your presence today, they will not go back home without yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Any body that is in their heart, Lord Father, you will remove the body and replace with joy in the mighty name of Jesus. As your word will be coming, Father, I pray that your word will set the captive free. Every manner of captivity, Lord Father, shall be released today in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be turned around in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, because we are praying answering God. We give you glory forever. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. In the next few minutes, we will be considering a message that I've titled, More Than Conquerors. More Than Conquerors. I would like you to turn your Bible with me to the book of Romans chapter 8. The book of Romans chapter 8. I will quickly read from verses 28 to 39. Romans chapter 8, reading through from verses 28 to 39. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called them he also justified, and whom he justified them he also glorified. Verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him all for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creation shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. From this passage of the scripture that we read, we see there that the Bible says that all things not some things. He said, all things work together for good to them that love God. Then the question is this. Do you really love God? Because the Bible is saying here, it's conditional. He said, all things work together for, their, for good for them that love God. Ask your neighbor, say neighbor. Do you really love God? Let's turn the Bible to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1 I'm going to link some things together here. The book of Ephesians chapter 1, I'm going to read from verses, one, uh, from verses 3 to 5. Ephesians chapter 1, from verses 3 to 5, the Bible says, Blessed be God, be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. 
Take note of verse 5. That's where we are going. He said, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Christ Jesus to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. What am I saying, brethren? What the Bible is telling us is that because of the Lord Jesus, we have been adopted, we have been predestinated to be called the children of God. And now that we are children of God, God is for us. God is for you if you are a child of God. And where we read in the book of Romans chapter 8, in verse 31 there, there is a question. He said, if God be for us, he said, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for you, I know one thing for sure. Nobody can be against you. Nothing shall be against you. That is why we have the assurance that through him that loved us, we are more than conquerors. Through Jesus that loved us, we are more than conquerors. Today's message has been divided into three parts. The first part is, what is the meaning of more than conquerors? Meaning of more than conquerors. By the time we know the meaning, then we proceed to the second stage, which is, how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? After that, we proceed to the last part, which is the persuasion and confidence of conquerors through Christ. Let's start from the first one, which is the meaning of more than conquerors. In Romans chapter 8, verse 37, the Bible says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. When we are saying conquer, that is, when we say you conquer, it means you are victorious over your opponent or adversary. Now the scripture is saying in that verse 37 that you are more than conqueror. Remember I said that to conquer means to be victorious. When the Bible is now saying you are now more than conqueror, it means your victory is just not ordinary. Your victory is more than what is expected. Praise the Lord. When we say more than conquerors, it means to be an overwhelming conqueror. It means to be a greater conqueror. When we say you are more than conqueror, it means to be a superior conqueror. It means to be a higher and better conqueror. Praise the Lord. Remember I said that to conquer means to be victorious. We can then say that if we say that you are more than conquerors, it means you do not only achieve victory, but overwhelmingly victorious. And I'm going to give you a typical example. If you have two teams playing soccer, if one of the team defeated the other one by 10 goals to two, praise the Lord. Remember the margin is 10 goals to two. That one is just not ordinary victory. What we are saying is that the other opponent, they put up a fight. They tried, but <laughs> they cannot just match up with the winner. Praise the Lord. What are we saying? That when we say you are more than conqueror, the adversary will come. Let all the challenges come. Not only you are going to have victory over there, you are, your victory will be an overwhelming one. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Having known the meaning of more than conqueror, let us consider the aspect that are very, very important to you, which is how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Brethren, in life, how you see yourself is very, very 
important. How do you see yourself? Ask your neighbor this question. Say, neighbor, how do you see yourself? Proceed to the next stage of the question. You are going to say, neighbor, do you see yourself as a champion or a loser? Answer your neighbor now. Praise the Lord. Are you the type that see yourself as a champion who wins nearly every fight? Or you are the type that see yourself as a loser who struggles along, never seeming to conquer a single problem? The way they always see themselves is that failure. They don't see any good thing in them. They look at themselves and say, everything is just not all right. Brethren, how you perceive yourself will ultimately affect the way others see you. Sincerely, when you see yourself as a failure, if somebody has now see you as a failure, is the person at fault, man? The person is not at fault. If you see yourself as a loser, and somebody else is now looking at you as a loser, you don't need to be angry because that is the way you perceive yourself. That is the way you see yourself. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. I'm going to give you a typical example of how some people they see themselves. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. The Bible points out there that devil is moving around, seeking whom he may devour. Let me tell you, the plan and struggles of Satan always is to bring down a believer. And in order to do this, he used various tactics. And one of the various ways most times that the devil used is to focus on believers' weak point. Many people, they have problems with this area. Every human being, one way or the other, we have our weak point. Praise the Lord. Although somebody might be looking at himself and say, I don't have a weak point. I will prove something to you. Jesus, when he was on the surface of this side during his earthly ministry, we can say categorically that the person next to him in that ministry was Apostle Peter. Right? Apostle Peter had his own weak point. And what is the weak point of Peter? Fear. To prove to you, the first time Peter saw Jesus walking on the surface of the water, and he said, Master, bid me that I should come. And Master said, come. Peter, you know, was walking majestically on the surface of the water when he focused on Jesus. By the time he looked down to see the waves of the sea, what happened to him? Fear came. And he began to sink. Praise the Lord. The second time when Jesus, the master, was arrested to go and be crucified. And ordinary little girl said to Peter, you are one of the disciples. He said, Peter said, no, 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 no. Why? Fear. What am I saying, brethren? Every one of us, at one point or the other, we have our weak point. What I want to drive out is this. If devil focus on your weak point to bring you down, and you also focus on it that that particular weak point of yours is going to bring you down, you will go down. You know where you are weak. Some people believe that that weak point that they cannot escape from it. And there's no way they can escape from it. But if the devil is focusing on your weak point to bring you down, and you also you are focusing on that weak point with prayer and faith in God, that that weak point of yours will become your strong point. You are not looking at yourself 
the way the devil is looking at you. You are looking at yourself at the mirror, in the mirror of the word of God. That with God, all things are possible. And according to Romans chapter 8, verse 28, that we said that, that all things work together for good to them that love God. That that particular weak point of yours is for your own goodness. And it shall become your goodness. So shall, so shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As it should be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So what I'm trying to say is that don't see yourself as a failure or loser because of your weak point. But rather focus on that point, on, on the one that loves you very much. And because Jesus loves you, he said you are more than conqueror. You'll be more than conqueror in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you seen yourself as more than conquerors? What then should be your persuasion or confidence through Christ? What should be your confidence? What should you be telling yourself? Because you have seen yourself as a conqueror. You have seen yourself as being more than conqueror. You are not looking at yourself as a failure. You are not looking at yourself as as somebody who cannot move beyond a particular point. Because you know some people, they already, <laughs> they already tag themselves to a particular position that they cannot move beyond that position. Some people, they already even told themselves that where they are is their bus stop. They believe that they cannot move beyond that place. Who told you that? That where you are is your bus stop. You are not yet in your destination. Praise the Lord. The way you're supposed to see yourself is that you will always be moving. That you, progress will always be yours. Praise the Lord. Don't be like the children of Israel. That they got a particular point and they kept on moving around in a circle. They kept on moving around in a circle. Until God told them, I said that you are moving around in this circle so much. Now it is time to do what? To move upwards. You will move upwards in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't believe what anybody just tells you that that is how things are, that you cannot achieve more than this. Praise the Lord. They will tell you that, ah, in this country, they begin to tell you a lot of stories. Don't believe any negative story. Although they will tell you that majority. You know, this thing happens to me. Thank God for the open air for one of, you know, during the, this last week. People will say that uh, majority carry the vote. Let them carry the vote. One with God is what? It's majority. Once you have God on your side, you are more than them. That's why the Bible said, told to us here in the book of Romans. He said that if God be for us, he said, who can be against us? What shall be the persuasion? and confidence of conquerors through Christ. In book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, the Bible says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Let's turn our Bible to the book of John chapter 10. Let's quickly read from verses 27 to 29. John chapter 10 from verses 27 to 29, to see, Jesus, to see what Jesus said about his own. Jesus said here in verse 27, he said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Once you belong unto God, nobody can pluck you away from God's hand. Once you are God's elect, God will always fight for you. There are many illustrations in the Old Testament of God bringing, you know, miraculous victory to his people, Israel. Humanly speaking, Jesus, uh, Israel, you know, they were 
no match for their enemies. In fact, if you know the history very well, if you read history, you will know that Syria, they had the strongest army, you know, in that region. Praise the Lord. There's a particular place they call Golan Heights. It belongs to Syria. But one thing I know for sure, the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? The whole world now, they are, they are saying that they want Israel to return Golan Heights back to Syria. Syria that used to be <laughs> the greatest. Because of God on the part of Israel, they defeated them and they got their land. The land that belonged to Syria, that is so much important to Syria. Israel occupied the place. What am I saying? Because God supported his people, Israel, they were able to defeat the enemies. You remember what the Bible said in Exodus chapter 14, verse 14? What does he say in Exodus 14, 14? He said, the Lord shall fight for you. The Lord will fight your battle. And because Israel, they believe that if you read through the Old Testament, it was God that fought the battle for them. All the battles, the, all, the, all, all, all the wars, it was God that fought for them. And uh, despite the fact that the children of Israel, they were disobedient unto God, God at times allowed them to be punished by the enemy. But God did not you know, allow the enemy to defeat them completely, to defeat them. God always support them. God will always allow the enemy to torment them, to make, the, to make them come to their senses, to make them realize that God is God. If you read the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19, let's read Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. That's the promise of God to Jeremiah concerning Israel. That despite the fact that the children of Israel, they have disobeyed God, they have done a lot of things, they have been rebellious, you know, and punishment is for them. But yet, God said in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19, he said, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. That's why they are disobedient, because... God is God. Once you belong to God, you can make mistake. Once you realize your mistake and you confess your fault unto God, God is a merciful God. He will forgive you and he will not allow you to be defeated by the enemy. You will not be defeated by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you read the book of Second John, uh, Second Kings chapter 7, there was famine in Samaria. And uh, why was there famine? Because the Syrian army, they surrounded Samaria. <laughs> they put their camp round about Samaria. And there was no food for the people of God to eat. By the time God fought for them, God made the Syrian army to hear the noise. Every of your enemies, they will hear the noise. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said they will hear the noise. In the mighty name of Jesus. They hear the noise. And what happened? They ran. They left their camp. They left their food. They left everything. And they ran. In a particular city. Where there was famine. Suddenly. There was surplus. Suddenly. They were in abundance. Suddenly. Everything became. Okay. That is going to be your Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, that is going to be your Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, Satan is our adversary. He sent all kinds of life-defeating, joy-stealing attacks to threaten the well-being and faith of God's children. Many of these attacks were listed from where we read in Romans chapter 8, from verse 35 to 39. All those attacks, all those challenges, probably they include troubles, hardship, persecution, famine, 
nakedness, sword. Praise the Lord. A lot of things like that. Challenges. Here you call them stuff. But the scripture is encouraging us today that we should stand firm in our faith when these attacks come. Reminding us that we shall surely win. You will surely win in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people, they are discouraged because of their present predicament. Some people are discouraged because they thought they prayed to God and God has not answered. But one thing I know for sure is that the Bible says that my ways are not your ways, my thought are not your thought. The way you are thinking that God is going to answer your prayer, God has a better plan. God has a good plan for you. More than what you think. Because I know one thing for sure that God really loves you. If God does not love you, he will not say he loves you. Because he loves you, that is why he asks his only begotten son to come and die for you. He so much loves you. He will not allow challenges of life. He will not allow the issues of life to prevail upon your life. The only thing you just need to do is to hold on unto him. You need to have faith in him. You need to believe his promises. You need to know that God has never failed and that he will never fail. And he will surely not fail you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say God will not fail you in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a good news for you. Satan lacks the power to steal your joy. Satan lacks the power to steal your eternal destiny. Therefore, he cannot separate you from the love of God right now, even forever. Satan has no power to separate you from the love of God. But I have this again for you. Do you know it is you that can separate yourself from the love of God? Satan has no power to do it. That is why you see he always he only uses tactics. He, he doesn't have the power. But when you deliberately decide to walk away from the love of God, it is your fault. But my prayer for you today is that you will not walk away from the love of God in the mighty name of Jesus. According to where we read in John chapter 10 from verses 27 to 29, if truly we are his children, through faith in his son Jesus, then we have his pledge of love and protection. We have the promises of God concerning every situation of our life. We have his promises. We have, you know, the grace and God of heaven will never fail you. He will never fail me in the mighty name of Jesus. In conclusion, brethren, to be more than conquerors means we face the trials of life with certainty that we are not alone. You are not alone. That battle that you think is yours is not yours. God is with you, fighting with you. The children of Israel, like I said, they had no power on their own to fight their enemies because they had the support of God. They won the battles. Look at that young David. Look at it yourself. Does it make sense for somebody to just take ordinary sting and use it to kill a giant? How feasible is that? But because the power of God hang time to that stone and that stone hang time to the head of the enemy. Every enemy that confronts you, the power of God will consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every challenge of life that says no way for you, God will put an end to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy that gathered and said this one, <laughs> we are going to mock him because we know that he can never, he can never be a success. But one thing I know for sure, God will grant you testimony over them in the mighty name of Jesus. To be more than conqueror means we have a mighty father who fights for us. 
that battle of life, that situation where you are, God is the one that is going to fight for you. We can approach the darkest valleys of our life with confidence, knowing fully well that nothing can happen to us that is not promised by our loving Father, who can make all things work together for our own good. Remember what the Bible says in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 37. He said, Who is he that seeth and it cometh to pass when the mouth of the Lord hath not spoken it? So when somebody is saying something that is not yours to you, what you're supposed to do is to reject it. I reject bad in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject failure in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject bad luck in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject anything that is not of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You begin to reject anything that is not of God. And God will sanction it. And so shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, we have the promise of eternal life. And the presence of Almighty God every moment of every day of your life until we see God face to face. He said, I will neither leave you nor forsake you. The word of God says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. You are going to rise up upon your feet as you are going to pray for yourself. During the course of the message, I said, how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a victor? Do you see yourself as a failure? Do you see yourself as somebody who is moving forward? Or do you see yourself as somebody who is going backward? How do you see yourself? You remember there is a song that, picks, you know, school children used to sing in those, those days. They say, I am a winner all the time. I am a winner, not a loser. I am a success, not a failure. I am a head and not a tail. So you are going to pray for yourself this afternoon. You are going to say, Father, say, Father, say, Father, deliver me from every negative thought about myself. Deliver me from every negative thought about myself. Every thought of defeat, every thought of failure, Father, deliver me from them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver me from every thought of defeat. Deliver me from every thought of failure. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jabez was a man like you and I. The mother gave back to him and said that this is a child of sorrow. But Jabez did not accept. He prayed unto God that God should enlarge his course. And it was so for him. So you are going to pray that God should deliver you from every negative thought about yourself. If Jabez accepted negative thought about himself, if he accepted the thought of his mother concerning himself, hey, his story would have been different. But God of heaven did not allow negative thought to prevail upon the life of Jabez. So you are going to pray for yourself and say, Father, deliver me from every manner of negative thought. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Brethren, 12 spies were sent to the promised land. 10 of them came back. They brought negative report. What did they see? They saw themselves as grasshopper. They saw themselves as defeated foes. But two among them saw themselves as winners. Two of them saw themselves as victorious. You are going to pray for yourself. You are going to say, Father, say, Father, nullify every suggestion of the enemy. Every suggestion of the enemy, nullify them in the mighty name of Jesus. Suggestion of the enemy that where you are is your bus stop. Suggestion of the enemy that you cannot go beyond this present level. Suggestion of the enemy that you cannot, you cannot just make it. Suggestion of the enemy that don't see yourself <laughs> as a success. Don't see yourself as somebody who will be promoted. Don't see yourself that you are going to make it. That is a suggestion of the enemy. So you are going to pray and say, Father, nullify every suggestion of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every suggestion of the enemy, every negative thought about myself, about my career, about my situation. Father, nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every negative thought that is saying that you cannot move beyond that particular position. The Bible said that the promotion coming either from the east or from the west. 
but from the God Almighty. The Bible says, he brought some down and lifted up another. God who said that is a God that never fails. God can remove, he can remove king <laughs> and, and replace him. God can, can, can make a way where people say there is no way. So you need to cry unto this God and say, Father, nullify every negative thought, every negative thought, every thought of the enemy concerning me, Father, let them be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, help me that I will not walk away from your love. Help me that I will not walk away from your love. Challenges of life will not make me walk away from you. Challenges of life will not make me deny you. Challenges of life will not make me even to say that there is no God. Some people, do you remember the wife of Job? When there was challenging the life of Job, even the wife of Job came unto me and said, Job, deny God and die. But Job held on unto his God. He never denied God. And as a result of that, we know what happened to the end of Job. To the end of Job. So you are going to pray for yourself and say, Father, every challenges of life will not make me deny you. What I'm passing through now will not make me even to forsake, to, will not make me to forsake you. What I'm Passing through now will not make me to forsake the assemblies of other brethren because <laughs> when the devil is making suggestion that you forsake the assembly of God people, when the enemy is suggesting that you should forsake God, the enemy is planning to destroy you completely. That is the plan of the enemy because the Bible says that the thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God Almighty, He sent Jesus to give you life, even that abundant life. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Father. Other challenges of life will not make me to deny you. I will not walk away from your love. I will not walk away from your love. It is those that are seeing the love of God that God will fight for them. When God is saying that I will fight for you, that you will have your peace. It is those that still stay in the love of God. Pray that you will not walk away from the love of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, even uh, if you are in the waters, if you are in the rivers, if you are passing through even the wilderness of life, the Bible says that God is saying that he's going to be with you. And because he has said he's going to be with you, he will surely be with you. What you just need to do is to stay within the love of Christ. Is to stay within the love of God. So you are going to pray for yourself and say, Father, never allow me to walk away from your love. Don't allow me to walk away from your love. Help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, you remember Hannah. She used to go to Shiloh. She never got discouraged. Assuming discouragement was in her life, the very year that God is going to answer her, if she was not there, how will God answer our prayer? That is why you are going to pray for yourself. You are going to say, Father, please visit my adversaries. Visit my challenges today. And cause me to celebrate in victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Visit my situation. Visit my challenges. Visit my adversaries. Cause me to celebrate in victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the first quarter of this year, it was struggle all through. It was struggle. It is one problem or the other. It was moving from one, from one lake of problem to another. You are going to pray that you have stabbed your feet to the second quarter of this year. That God will cause you to have victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. That God will grant you testimony over the challenges of life. That God will grant you victory over that situation of life. The Bible says that you are more than conqueror through him that loves you. Because God loves you, you are more than conqueror. Pray that God will make your victory an overwhelming victory in the mighty name of Jesus. That your victory will be an overwhelming one in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray. And God of heaven will answer your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make us more than conquer us in the name of Jesus. As we step into this second quarter, oh God, Father, you will make us to celebrate over our situations in the name of Jesus. In any area, oh God, that we have failed in the first quarter of this year, 
we will never fail again in the name of Jesus. Visit our situation, O God. Help us, everlasting Father. Show us your face, O God, Father. We know that when you show up, there are solutions. Bring us solutions to our problems, O God, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us please stretch forth our hands towards the man of God. Let us continue to pray for him and his family. That God will visit his ministry in the name of Jesus. That he will refuse to struggle. In any way he has been struggling in his, his marriage, in his life, in his health, in his career, in his ministry. That today God will show up and he will have multiple solutions in the name of Jesus. That after today he will refuse to struggle again. Because God will show up for him in his situations. As God has used him today to bless us, that he, God will make him a blessing in the name of Jesus. And God will take care of his family in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. It's announcement time. Let's just um, do our usual. Just shake your neighbor. Ask them questions. Try to get an answer. How do you see yourself? I will answer you. I see myself as a superior conqueror in true Christ Jesus. I see myself as a superior conqueror in Christ Jesus. How do you see yourself? As a winner. God bless you. There is power in the mouth. There is power in the tongue. So if you have not said anything to yourself, that's up to you. God will help us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Do we have anyone that is worshiping with us for the first time? Anybody? Anybody for the first time? Nobody? Praise the Lord. Let's go to work. Let's continue to work and God will continue to increase us in Jesus' name. Please, let's listen to the following announcements. Um, Tuesdays, we'll continue uh, uh, digging deep and Thursday. Prayer and Revival Hour. The time remains the same from 7 p.m. to 8 or 8.15. Please, if you're not working, come to the church. Uh, for Tuesday, we spend more time in studying the Bible. And on Thursday, we gather together to continue to pray. We are reminded of our commitment to the church building project. And we encourage to continue in doing so. God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, if you have your um, new monthly Commitment, please, you can give that to Bronoa. He knows what to do with that. Praise the Lord. There will be women's meeting immediately after service in the conference room. Let the women in the house shout hallelujah. <laughs> that was very quiet. Let the women in the house shout hallelujah. So, the announcement says that all women should please wait after service for the meeting in the conference room. Um, all grace sanctuary women are expected to attend. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And as you attend, the blessings that follow obedience shall be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, you can see that by the table at the right hand, the church has provided POS terminal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. When I, when I realized that, you know, the church is making plans for that, I was excited because sometimes I come to church, I forget my check, or I come to church, I want to give an offering, I don't really have money, but I have my card. So now it's easier. It's really easier. The terminal is here. It's very easy to use. So um, the instruction is very simple. For now, when you, the instruction is written and then it's kept beside uh, the, the, the terminal, the POS terminal itself. After each transaction, you will have two receipts. The very first one is the merchant receipt. So there's a merchant receipt and the customer receipt. The customer receipt is yours, but the first one that is going to come up is merchant copy. Now, what are you supposed to do with that? You're going to put it in an envelope, the merchant receipt now. And address the envelope as usual, the way you put your offering or your check. If we do not see that merchant receipt, we will have reconciliation issues. So that means I might be in church here till like 8 p.m. You want me to go home as early as possible. Because if the money has entered the account and we don't see the receipt, you know, so please remember to take the very first receipt 
there will always be envelope at that place and a pen. Please remember to put the very first receipt in the envelope and address it. And remember to give us the envelope, please. Just put the envelope in the offering basket. So now, you forget your check or you don't have enough cash to give. You don't have a POS terminal that you can use for offering. Please, let's put our hand together again for the church for making that possible for us. You know, most of us have been clamoring for this for a long time, and eventually the church has responded. So we thank God for that. Praise the Lord. And if you have any question, please ask Bro Brendan or Bro Tolu. They will help you to uh, guide you on how to do that. You just at the back of the, uh, beside that table. Praise the Lord. There will be no three days program, month, end, of, end of month program this month because of the Easter season. So it's fall during Easter. We won't have that three months, uh, three days prayer program. Our night vigil for the month of April will be on the 26th of April by 9 p.m. Sorry, 9.30 p.m. So please start now to prepare to make sure that you attend. Night vigil, April 26th, 9.30 p.m. We have a prayer bus at the back of the church. Please, uh, let's continue to drop our prayer um, requests. And the Salvation Army will continue to do justice on them. And God will continue to answer our prayers. We are also reminded, as usual, that our church service is now always on Facebook and on YouTube. Just search RCCG Grace Sanctuary Paris Saskatoon and you will see them. And you can select whatever Sunday that you want to revisit and listen to. Praise the Lord. If there are further announcements, um, the church, the pastor will make that. Or it will also be communicated to us via our ch church WhatsApp. Remember to remain connected. May God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Please put your hand together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. There are two... announcements that I need to make myself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You remember one of our brothers shared a testimony recently. How God provided a good job for him in Alberta. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, they will be relocated to Calgary. Amen. Amen. I mean the family of Lawa. Praise the Lord. <laughs> they will be moving to Calgary, Alberta, by the special grace of God. And because they are so dear to us, because the time they spend in this church was a time of fruitfulness that God used them very well and they allow themselves to be used. Therefore, it was celebration. We are going to celebrate them. Praise the Lord. Because we love them, it's so difficult, you know, to say let go. But because we still we love them also because it's a progress, we have to do what? We have to accept it. Therefore, the church is organizing a sent forth party for them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That party we hold on Easter Sunday. 
It is not going to be during the church service. We will close the service. Normally, we go home and we come back to church by 6 to celebrate them. And we would like every one of us to make ourselves available. And it is also an opportunity for us to celebrate Easter together. Praise the Lord. The second announcement. Amen. Who is the zona pastor of Redeemed Christian Church of God in Saskatchewan? Huh? Pastor Babajide Oyetuga. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, our Sona pastor will turn 50 tomorrow. And by the special grace of God, we are going to celebrate him. Not tomorrow. We have fixed a special date to do that. And that day is going to be a Sunday. You know, that program will take place on Sunday, 19th of May. Praise the Lord. 19th of May, there is going to be birthday Thanksgiving. It's going to be a three hours of praise and worship. Thanking God for what he has done. The time is 3 p.m. 3 to 6 p.m. at Jesus' house. Praise the Lord. Although I know space is going to be a challenge, but we shall all be there. You shall be there. I will be there in the mighty name of Jesus. So take note of those two announcements. And as my brother has explained concerning the POS, if you want to use POS, you can be going there now because during offering, everybody cannot go there at the same time. So anybody that wants to use POS, you can go there now. As you are doing some other things, you can go and be making your transaction. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Celebration time. If you are here this morning, this afternoon, is it? This morning and this month is your wedding. And you are celebrating your wedding anniversary this month. And this, your birthday fall on this month. I want you to start from the back because we are going to dance from the back. There is a song that says, count your blessing, name them one by one. It will surprise you what the Lord has done. Let us celebrate with them as they dance forward. Choir. <laughs> Everybody look and see what the Lord has done for me. I say everybody look and see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look and see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look at me and see what the Lord has done in my life. I say everybody look and see what the Lord has done for me. Oh, he give me joy, oh, hey. he give me joy, oh, hey. he give me peace, oh, he give me joy, hey. everything now double, 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 everything now double, double, everything now double, 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 Jesus, 
Just to stretch our foot, our hand towards these people and also pray for them. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, verse 24, it says, The blood of Jesus Christ speaketh good things rather than the blood of Hebe. I want us to pray for these people this morning that everything that the blood of Jesus Christ speak, let begin to speak for them. The blood of Jesus Christ speak peace, he speak progress, he speak profession, he speak joy. Let begin to say that this morning. Everything that the blood of Jesus Christ speak. Let begin to decree it upon these people this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Our Father, we thank you this afternoon. We thank you, Father, for the glorious thing that are done for this family. Thank you, Father, because you are the one that had it to their years again. Thank you for the blessing of God. Thank you for all the celebrants to the Lord. Accept our thanks and our praises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit this word unto you. We prophesy unto your life as God added to you. And we pray that the nature will spring up in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as you are beginning, as you have a new year again, I pray that the Lord shall begin to do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we soak you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for as you celebrate today, Father Lord God. The things of joy we know depart from your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to count blessing, the glory, and the great glory of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your go and shall be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Your coming shall be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever you go, Father Lord God, the faithful of God will rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we we'll pray. Amen. Give testimony. If you have testimony to give, can we just raise up our hands? Let's wait to the Lord. Testimony time. Shall we rise up, please? Shall we rise up and come to the forward? So we have testimonies. We want to testify of God's goodness. The Lord has been so faithful. The Lord has kept us alive up to this day. He has made us to see the first Sunday of the month. Let's come forward, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to sing a song before I start saying my testimony. Can you join me to sing this song? And thank you. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So lovely, the wonder he gave us peace on over the redemption and torment for great and broken the night day that all may go praise 
and praises to the Lord Jesus Christ for being a participant in the Solution Grant. This great sanctuary is a Solution Grant. So I thank God for the great thing God has done in my life and he continues to do it in my life. As um, for today's sermon, you know, it's just like a true picture of how the life is. I have believed in Christ. I trust in Christ with an heart of thanksgiving always. And I thank God I'm victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God that made me to be, to, to be victorious will help everybody to be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, God is, is a very loving father to me. True my, you know, happiness, thanksgiving. I, 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 I am, I'm always happy and then give thanks to the Lord, wherever situation that I am. So because of God, God give me breakthrough. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. Everything is double, double, double. When they sing a song, when they say that, everything is double, double, let us sing it and have the heart of believe that it is double, double. I cannot deceive you. My life is double. The, your life too will be double in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank the brethren. I thank everybody for not sleeping or slumber. Your prayer works a lot. So let's continue praying. God answers our prayer. It is true, I believe, as our daddy said when he was giving the sermon. He said, that, look at yourself as a winner. Look at yourself as a success. Don't look at yourself as a failure. When there's, when there's, when there's something, happen to you or anything when you say, oh, this, oh, it's a failure. I'm telling you, Satan will be dancing and say you're a failure. But once you see yourself as a winner, smile everything, not smile. Be happy, your mind. let your mind be clear and clean. Do good and have belief in Christ. I assure you, it is well with you. Amen. I say it is well in my life. It is well, it is well, it is well. In the name of Jesus, it is well. With my souls today, there is no more sorrow. It is well, it is well, it is well. In the name of Jesus, it is well. With my souls today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't want to take the grace of God for granted. Uh, for the past few months, I've enjoyed so much favor from the Lord. And God has given me unusual strength. And I've enjoyed his grace tremendously. So I will just uh, share one thing with us, just to appreciate the almighty God for so many things he has done for me and my family. Uh, last month, that was precisely five Sundays ago, I know for the past four Sundays I've been here, but five Sundays ago I wasn't here, I was in Calgary. So, and I attended a church there, and after the service I went to go and view a house which we intended to rent, so because of my, our relocation. And as I was going, I made a U-turn at a traffic junction, which in my own judgment that I can make that U-turn because they didn't see no U-turn there. As soon as I made the U-turn, a girl was driving another car behind me, I think about 18 years of age, he smashed me at the back. 
to the glory of God, my car was almost okay. If you don't look at it closely. In fact, it took, uh, it took a lot of effort to take my wife. Can't you see the dent? So it's not something that is so obvious. So, but the other car was badly damaged. And while we were there, initially I was, oh, the, the girl was the one that's completely wrong. And all of a sudden she started crying. And I said, okay, what happened? I sensed she was on the phone. So because I trafficked, so she didn't look at that. And she was shaking on the steering, and she was calling her parents. So at the point, I felt that, well, let me just allow her to go. In any case, my car was okay. So while we were doing that, somebody just came from nowhere, and he looked at the situation, and he said, oh, what happened? And I said, well, I was trying to, he said, you're not supposed to make a huge turn here. All of a sudden, I became worried that, so this thing can be turned against me. So, and after that, he left, and he gave the girl her, his own number, that so he's ready to be a witness. So that if, and he, of course, obviously, that girl was a white uh, Canadian. So I knew that something was going to go in, in, against me. So the mom came. As soon as the mom came, and then we were talking, I just told the mom, I said, you know what? I have a young daughter at home that is just like your own daughter, so that it doesn't really matter to me. I can let go of this. But she said, well, you are not supposed to turn on this, yeah, on the traffic point. That, well, if you are willing to let go of it, I will go and repair my own car too. And that was everything, how everything was, you know, resolved. When I got to my hotel, so I check online and I look at what the Abata law says. I've not driven in Abata for more than four years, so obviously they changed the laws. So, and I saw it there that you cannot make a U-turn on the traffic line. So I just thank God that at the end of the day, if the, those people were willing to fo follow up, that would have been against me and I would have been made to pay some money, you know, at least deductible. I've always been praying to God. I pay my tithe, so I don't want devourer in my life. So I want to give God the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to give God all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration, because God is a faithful God. When I look back for the past few months of, of this year, and I started this year with a great fear in my heart, but I thank God that God made the turn the fear to joy. He gave me peace of mind in every angle. I just want to give him all the glory. I want to give him all the honor because I know he's a faithful father. My, my testimony, summary of my testimony is on this, uh, this song that says, oh, what shall I render to Jehovah? He has done so very much for me. If I have 10,000 tongues, it's not enough to thank him. I just came here this afternoon to say thank you, Father, for how far you've gone be with me, my family, for everything you've done. I know I'm still coming back to give this, uh, uh, the, the testimony, but I just want to say this morning for what he has done so far. I'm so grateful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let, let the only testifier come forward. Let's have a word of prayer. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Lord? What shall I render to you, Lord? What shall I render to you, Lord? What shall we render? What shall we render? What shall we render to you, Lord? What shall we render? What shall we render? What shall we render? To you, Lord, what shall we render? To you, Lord, what shall we render? To you, Lord, we will render praise. We will render praise. We will render praise. To you, Lord, we will render praise. We will render praise. We will render praise. To you, Lord, what shall we render? To you, Lord. Our everlasting Father God, we want to thank you for this time. We want to appreciate you, O oh Lord, for being a defense in the lives of these ones. We appreciate you for them coming forward to testify of your goodness and of your greatness upon their lives. Lord, O oh God, the Bible says, they that know thy name shall put their trust in thee. Father, we want to appreciate you, O oh Lord, for making them to put their trust in thee. Thank you, Father, because, O oh Lord, you came and you defended them. 
Lord, we give you all the glory. We say, Lord, be exalted in Jesus' name. The Bible says, whatever the Lord does, it shall be forever. Nothing shall be added to it. Nothing shall be taken away from it. The Lord does it so that men may fear him. Father, we pray that that which you have done in your life shall remain forever in Jesus' name. And Lord, even as we stand as a church, we want to thank you so much for all that you have done in our lives. For seeing the beginning, the first, the first Sunday of the month. Lord, we appreciate you for the battles you have won for us. We give you all the glory. We say, Lord, be exalted in Jesus' name. And Lord, even as we commit our lives into your hands, we soak our lives in the blood of Jesus. We ask the Lord, let your blood prevail and avail for us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. That every plan of the enemy concerning our life this month and throughout this year, Lord, we pray it shall not stand in Jesus' name. The Lord, you will defend us, O Lord. You will send help unto us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Offering time. Thanksgiving time. Thanksgiving time. Hallelujah. We're in another month. This year is running very fast. The Lord God has started with us from January, has brought us to the month of April. It is time for us to appreciate the name of the Lord. It's Thanksgiving time. It's not about the money. It's about the heart. So when we are dancing forward, please show gratitude unto the Lord. It's not about what you have in that envelope. It's about that heart of gratitude. And I want us to begin to package our tithes, our offering, our Thanksgiving offering, and also even for the building project, you can give that to Bronoa. So if you still want to use the POS machine, please go there right now. Remember to get uh, the merchant's uh, copy of the receipt and put it inside the envelope. And let us address our envelopes accordingly. And I pray that the Lord God will receive our thanksgiving this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to be dancing from the back as the choir leads us in, in praise. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah, you are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, you are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, oh, you are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah, 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 yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Oh, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Oh, you are good and your mercy is forever. Good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. What will I give to you? My praise. I say, what will I give to you, God? Hey, ooh. I say, what will we give to you, God? My praise. Oh, what will we give to you, God? What you will give you? Lift him up. Oh, lift Jesus higher. Lift him up. Oh, lift Jesus higher. Oh, lift him up. Oh, lift Jesus higher. Lift him up. Oh, lift Jesus higher. Lift him up, lift him up, lift him Jesus high, lift him up, he is worthy of praise, lift him up, lift him up, oh, lift him Jesus high, lift him up, he is worthy, lift him up, lift him, lift him up, hey, lift him Jesus high, lift him up, he is worthy, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We thank you for another opportunity to give unto you even this afternoon. Thank you because there is nothing that we have that we've not received from you. Father, from what you have given unto us, we've brought even unto you this afternoon. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, as we've given our tithe, as we've given our thanksgiving our offering, Daddy, you said that you will open the windows of heaven even unto us, and you will also rebuild the devourer even for our sake. Father, I pray that you, the heavens shall be opened upon every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus, and you will rebuild the devourers even for our sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we pray, Lord, that because we've given unto you, you will lift our head up in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not know any form of lack in the name of Jesus. And when it's time to give unto you again, Daddy, we will not find it difficult in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the service of today. We bless you for the blessings that you have released upon us. We thank you for the captives that you have set free. We thank you for the yoke that you have removed. We thank you, Lord Father, for the sorrow that you have taken away. We thank you for the joy that you have given unto your people. We thank you for your peace that reigns supreme even in the life, that, in the life of your people. Be there, Father, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I inscribe your children into your palms, Father. Even as they go this week, they go in your power and in your might, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow, the one that fly by day, even the one that fly by night, none shall come near their dwellings, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whenever we are hearing from this one's Lord Father, it shall always be testimony. Whenever we are hearing from one another, it shall be good news, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father, peace like a river. We flow in every family. We flow in every life. We flow in our jobs. We flow in our career. We flow in our marriages. We flow in this church in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, because I pray answering God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us.